Hello friends, welcome to Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain addressing modes in 8051 microcontroller. Let us see the instruction format first. An instruction is a command to the microprocessor or microcontroller to perform the given task on a specified data. This instruction has two different parts. One is opcode and another one is operand. The opcode is nothing but the task to be performed whereas the data to be operated is also known as operand. For example, if we are having an instruction, let's say that it is mu comma mu a comma r0. In this case, this mu is indicating a copying operation and therefore we can say that it is an opcode whereas this a comma r0 are nothing but uh, having data and mm, therefore it is known as operand this operand may be specified in different ways and this uh, operand may be an 8 bit or 16 bit data an address a register or a memory location in some operand the in some cases this uh, operand may not exist but uh, for 8051 it is exist in most of the instructions method of specifying the data to be operated by the instruction is called addressing and the addressing modes are the ways in which we access the memory or register or data to perform the specified operations the 8051 has following seven different addressing and these are immediate addressing register addressing direct addressing indirect addressing index addressing bit addressing and absolute addressing let us see it one by one the first one is immediate addressing immediate addressing mode allows the programmer to directly specify a constant or immediate value so it means that here you can see a constant or a value directly and the value is encoded within the instruction itself the example for the addressing mode is mu a comma hash 25 note here that in case of 8051 here this hash is used and it indicates the immediate addressing mode hash indicates that this is a data and therefore it is an immediate addressing mode here this 25 h data is copied into accumulator a and this is the function of this addressing mode immediate addressing here is another example it is a subtraction operation and data 30h is subtracted from a so we can say that at the content of accumulator minus 30 and the result will be stored in accumulator the next addressing mode is register addressing mode as the name indicates it is related with the registers and in 8051 there are a few general purpose registers for example a then b and r0 to r7 so if any of these registers are used here it is uh, the register addressing mode so r0 to r7 this eight registers are used if we are transferring data from one register to other or we are using them then this is known as register addressing mode the example for this is mu a comma r2 it means that the content of r2 will be copied into accumulator another examples may be mu a r4 comma a the content of accumulator will be copied into register r4 next addressing mode is direct addressing mode here this direct actually indicates the direct ram address direct addressing mode allows the accessing data from the internal ram of the microprocessor the operand specified in a memory location directly allows the efficient access of variables and data address uh, data 
arrays here is the example of direct addressing mode it is written that move a comma 30h note here that in immediate addressing mode here hash was used but in direct addressing there is no hash or address sign the here 30h is directly indicating the internal ram address now the meaning of this instruction is the data from 30h will be copied into accumulator means internal ram location of 30h is having some data and that data will be copied into accumulator another example will the data of r1 will be copied to 30h internal ram location this is direct addressing mode where uh, where the di address is specified directly now next addressing mode is the indirect addressing mode and in this case the address is indicated indirectly so here the as as already told it is uh, indirect address and through which the data is uh, either copied or accessed in this case you as you can see here this is the example for the indirect addressing mode and here this r0 is actually storing address of some other memory location for example if r0 is having value 30h stored in it and if we are using indirect addressing mode in this case here the data from this 30h location say if 30h location is having data 05h here then this 05h will be copied to accumulator now note here that the r0 is not directly indicating the data but it is indicating the address and the address of this location is having some data and that data will be copied to the accumulator here and thus it is indicating indirect address here at the rate is generally used for this indication of the indirect addressing mode and two main registers r0 and r1 are only used in that case so here it may be r0 or r1 only or another option is the data pointer because data pointer is also used to store the sequential data and generally this is a very important addressing mode when we want to save the in, uh, save the memory space or if we want to access a continuous data then in that case indirect addressing mode is used so here if you if you want to address a con if you want to access a stack then this addressing mode is very very important next addressing mode is index addressing mode and here the index addressing mode also known as relative addressing mode it allows the memory locations by adding an offset to the base address here is the special indication of this index addressing mode you can you can see here that it is move c a comma a plus pc note here that here plus is written and this plus actually indicates the index addressing mode here the address is not directly specified but a option here you can see here that uh, this is the offset and this offset is added into some register and further the ad result of this addition will be will indicate some address and this address data will be copied into accumulator yeah let me explain it if program counter he is having address 3000h and accumulator is having a data of 50h then this two will be added and here it will be result in 3050h now the data of this 3050h will be copied into accumulator if 3050h is having 20h here then this 20h will be copied into accumulator note here that this pc is actually indicating the code memory because c is written here i will explain it in the uh, instruction set but here 
is the meaning of this instruction index addressing mode the offset is usually stored in one of the registers as here it is stored in the a and enabling efficient access of data structure with a fixed offset the bit addressing mode is as it is indicating bit here so in case of 8051 we can manipulate individual bit and therefore we need an addressing mode which will operate on the bit and bit addressing mode is used for the same purpose you can access many of the registers of 8051 uh, most of the special function register or some uh, registers like A, register A or PSW can be accessed B to wise here and therefore bit addressing mode is used to access these register. For example, set B, P point uh, P 1.2 means that you can set, set means equal to 1. So P 1.2 port 1 pin number 2 can be set to 1 by using this instruction or uh, CLRC means clear carry flag. So you can reset carry flag here by using this instruction. So beat manipulation instructions works in this way. The last addressing mode is the absolute addressing mode and here the absolute addressing mode is specified mode used for accessing specific memory location in external RAM or external program memory. So absolute addressing mode is used to access the external RAM or external ROM. Generally a 16 bit address is stored somewhere and for example it is stored in DPD area and this X is indicating external RAM. So extern uh, here the address of this the content of this DPTR will be copied into accumulator. In this way, this addressing mode works and here at the rate is used for this type of addressing mode. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification. And like, comment and share. Thank you.